Now, what we're going to look at is the replace sketch entity tool. This was introduced in 2014, um, but it's a good idea to just have a little refresher on it. Now, what can sometimes be a problem is when we go back and edit particular sketches. If I just come normal to that. Now, you can see we've got this spline here as a construction line. We want to replace the outer line with the construction line. Now, if I was to simply delete that, it should automatically pick up on this this um, uh, spline as the new entity that I want to create an extrude with. Now, if I come out of the sketch, you can see that a lot of errors form right away. Now, I'm just going to undo that, undo the change. And this time I'm going to do it slightly differently. So I'm going to use the replace sketch in it today. So if I make this a solid line, first off, and I can do this two ways. I can right click on it and get up the replace entity, or I can delete it and we get this option to replace entity here. Now once there, we want to tell it what we want to replace it with, which is this one here. And rather than just simply delete it, we can turn it into the construction line because it could be used in this sketch for some sort of dimensions. If I OK that and rebuild the model, you can see this time we've ended up with no errors. What the replace sketch entity is doing, it's not only replacing the sketch entity within the, the sketch itself, but it's re-relating all dimensions or uh, edge selections that were already associated with the initial uh, edge in the sketch. So it's reassociating everything, and that is why we haven't ended up with any errors on our tree.